Hello, 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 Loki back again. Finally for another episode. I'm sorry I missed these last few days, but life goes on. I had to do a whole bunch of crap. Every Sunday I have to head into town, help some friends out. Then Monday I had to head into town a couple hours away for my sister. <sighs> Just life in general. Ah well, I'm back today. And excited, too. I just got a call back from a job. They have to do the little background check, and then I'm hired. How cute. They won't find anything. <laughs> Alright. First things first, we have a ritual prepared. And we're going to have some fun with that. I, In between episodes, I made a little storage area. Made a little spot to get all the jars out of the system when I want them. And yeah. This whole process, for every element, I have one void jar. And some of them are even filled, because I did that in my uh, downtime. But first, we need to make a silver wood rod. The, in order to do this, we need to use the arcane infuser. We need one of each shard, including the man-made balanced shard, which I made in the crucible with two of each element and we need to surround it around this silverwood log with all of these elements in jars around it then and only then will this ritual work and not blow the f up as you can see I made everything balanced nice and pretty put some candles out all that good stuff and I did completely restructure this from what you saw last episode because it turns out it didn't work the way I originally had it. You have to have this stuff spaced out like this, these pedestals, or it has a higher chance of going wrong. So all we have to do is put this log here and stand back and watch the show. It should begin. Hmm. I guess not. Did I forget something? Oh, I think you have to hit it with your wand. Boop. Anything? At all? There we go. Have to hit the infuser with the wand. Dip. <laughs> and you can see it drawing the elements out and putting them directly into that. As it is supposed to do. It's best to stand back a ways, but still. This is an amazing sight. Just watching it s suck all the elements out. Crackle with some lightning power. Get ready to infuse the log slow. Look at that. It's got slowly rising runes of magic. All this for a little bit more power in my rod. Ow. Oh, and it's sucking these things up particle by particle. That is cool. And it turns out you have to put these shards on the pedestals in order. I'll take care of that gas later. It won't do anything to us at the current moment. Actually, I have the stuff right here, but I don't want to mess up the symmetry. Because if you mess up the symmetry, you can mess up the whole thing. Ah, screw it. The symmetry's already messed up with this gas. Jesus. But this is pretty. <laughs> and I made sure I did not do this between episodes specifically so you'd see my first reaction and oh my god this is pretty it is sucking up so much of these elements oh my god that's crazy it's insane just how much power goes into this one core into half a wand we've already used we're down to 40 perdicio out of 64 my god come on okay yes we get it it's cool it's shiny now give us our rod finish up do what you do 
or tell us it's wrong or something. I mean, seriously. It looks awesome, but is it doing anything? How much of this stuff did it need? Ow! Ow! Tainted. How am I tainted? What tainted me? That hurt. I got poisoned. Huh. One of those lightning things must have hit me. Hmm. Oh wow, you can see the cube just separating and going back together constantly. That's cool. That, that really is cool. Okay, so is everything working? It only needs nine of each element, so why is it sucking up so much? It's gone way over nine. Okay, something's gone wrong. Let's see, we got the magic, all the right elements. So what went wrong? Why is it still sucking out energy? I'm plopping it into this log. I... what? This is so confusing. What the hell? It sucked up way too much energy and did not give me the core I needed. Okay, so it's the... Arcane infusion with a balance shard, air, fire, water, earth, order, entropy. I had all that out there. Air, water, fire, order, entropy, earth, magic. Yeah, the balance and the magic were the only things out of the bases. So what went wrong? Why didn't this work? What the hell? We still have nine of each, right? Um, yeah, we still have nine of each element, but we'll need new shards again. Because for whatever reason, this did not work. It did not work. And I don't know why it freaked out like that. I'm so freaking confused right now. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's move on. We have other quests to do as well. We have fish, which is done. The great. We need the silverwood rod. Yeah. It doesn't tell us how to get that. The forge. We need to make chicken, pork, and beef nuggets. Chicken, pork, and beef. And I realize we're reaching near the end of this mod pack. Because I'm not going to finish up the magic chores. I'm going to get through the hedge magic after I get done with the... Uh, thaumaturgy, I think it was. Something like that. Thaum. And then, after all that... Uh, raw beef, cooked pork... Eh, I can put in the cooked pork, see what happens. And, yeah, we're going to see how useful these mods are by taking on the Ender Dragon without potions and with only the armor provided by the special magical mobs. We'll see how, just how good these mods are. Plus my skill level, of course, but no one cares about me. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I still have magnet mode on. Magnet mode d ruins this thing. Boop. Alright, that should give me some of those nuggets out. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Come on. No, it just gave me actual stuff. So, something went wrong with that too. Can nothing go right? <laughs> Alright, we, it was under normal thaumaturgy, I believe. Was it not? Oops. Apparently I now have the thing for thaumium caps. Cool. Oh, node stabilizer. I need to look that up 
and get that research because we're going to have our own stash of private nodes eventually with this node in a jar. We're going to take all the nodes in the world and just bring them right into our base. Stabilize them first, hopefully, but yeah. Where is that furnace? Alchemy, Essentia, no, 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 no. Um, Infuser. I need to do some research on that bastard. Because something went wrong. Here we go. Infernal. Wait, what? That's forbidden knowledge? Yeah, it does look evil. Okay. Alright. Occasionally it drops bonus materials and nuggets. So we have to put in a bunch of meat until it spits out the bonus nugget. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Is there any shorter way of doing it? No, it didn't even give us that cooked thing back. Oh, well. So this episode is actually kind of pointless because something went wrong with our ritual. But you've seen my initial reaction now. I can start doing that between episodes, see how that works. And it's time to make a brewing stand. Because we'll start in the hedge magic because nothing else is working. <laughs> Alright, so for the brewing stand, I was looking up all the elements under vial. That way I made sure I had all the jars. For the brewing stand, you're the one. Three cobblestone and a blaze rod. Wow, that's easy. Okay. I'll take you. Wait, am I in... God dang it, I'm in cheat mode. You see, every time I do research, it does this crap to me. At least that time, it didn't screw me over too bad. One, two, three. Put you back. Take these with me. We just need one blaze rod. Luckily enough, we have our own blaze farm. It is one of the most useful things ever. Because seriously, all I do is walk up to the door, and I get, whoa. You're not blazes. All I have to do is walk up to the door and I'll get a bunch of the blaze powder. Because they drop it even while alive. Constantly. It's actually kind of cool. And But to get an actual rod, I need to actually head in there and kill a blaze. Let's not do it while we're on fire though. Ow. Full thomium everything. Don't not using a thomium sword yet. But yeah, something went wrong with the ritual. We may need to have the exact amount in the jars and no more. I don't know how that whole thing works, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Eventually. Blaze, come here. Come here, Blaze. Here, Blaze. <laughs> was that a bat? That was a bat. Ah, Jesus. Come on, give me one blaze rod, that's all I need. Oh, turn on magnet mode. Grab everything in there. Ow. Ow. I said ow! <laughs> and gotcha! Haha! <laughs> no, no, let me out! Jesus. That hurt a lot. <laughs> And boom, we have our brewing stand. Hallelujah. Let's go upstairs because that's where we're going to have the stop spot for hedge magic. Because hedge magic is a quick get up and go type thing. All right. And we'll just put you right in the corner there. See if we have any glass. Um, no. Anything over here? No sand. Alright, let's go hunt for some sand. It's been a while since I showed you guys any of this kind of stuff on screen. Oof. But yeah. Once I get the research done for the node stabilizer, I'm going to start collecting a bunch of nodes, line them up downstairs for uh, free aspects and power and wand power whenever I need it. It'll be awesome! Yeah, and I need nine sand. I'll take the beef. I need it for those nuggets. And the leather, I guess. I guess I can deal with the leather. Ugh. 
<laughs> I still love that they put in the mod in this game that makes it so mobs drop an item relevant to them while they're alive, whether they're friendly or enemy mobs. Like, uh, blazes constantly drop blaze powder. It's a slow rate, but they do drop it over time. Villagers drop uh, emeralds, same deal, slow, but it does happen. So on and so forth, with chickens dropping feathers, which is pretty standard, really, but... Mm. <laughs> and so on, so forth, all that jazz. And all that jazz. Why do I have an iron on me? Let's see, anything else? Wall of bat is for witchery. Rotten flesh, I deconstruct, along with the blaze powder. I'm not doing necromancy. Uh, the rest, I can just take with me. Yeah, I'll take you to get rid of any excess flux. That flux is no joke. It is dangerous. I've almost died to it before because it messed up my whole thing. And we have to watch our corruption as well because it can start doing some freaky things to you if you get corrupted. Alright, well, let's grab as much of this as possible. Clear out these jars. That way we can make sure they only have the right amount in them. For next time for our next attempt which should be I'll actually probably make another attempt in this episode to do everything right with the right amount of stuff all right so fire needed nine that is barely above nine let's hope that's good enough we need precancio magic what the oh press the wrong button there we go Terra, that's exactly nine, which is perfect. Uh, Perdicio, 13. Agua. I know it's aqua, but still, agua sounds cool. Leave me alone. Air and order. Order and air. And that should do it. Everyone should have at least nine in them. Yeah? Where did I put my log? Log. Oh, you're still in there. Okay. And let's take you. Activate. Oh, I forgot to put the things on the pedestals. <laughs> Alright, so we need one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, we have everything we need. Alright. Let us start with you there. We gotta put these down in order, otherwise it could screw everything up. So, we need to go to Thaumaturgy, Wand Core, Air, Fire, Water, Earth. Air, Fire, Water, Earth. Really? Okay. Air, Fire, Water, Earth. No, that doesn't seem right, is it? Yeah, air, fire, water, earth. That's really weird that they have those across and those together. Then order and chaos. Or entropy, as this thing calls it. But it's chaos. It's okay, we all know. Now do this right. Don't make me pimp hand you. Pimp smack you. <laughs> all right. And as you can see, it's sucking down the required elements one at a time, then it'll take up the materials and be done. Hopefully. I'm going to keep a close eye on it and deactivate it once it gets to zero on everything, though. Because I got plenty of these elements to spare, and I can always get more. I have an infinite cobblestone generator. Now. <laughs> and cobble gives me earth and chaos. And the rest of the stuff I can get from mob drops. Looks like I can't stop it with my wand until it's done. Okay. Well, let's hope this works, yeah? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Turn into a- Yes, it worked! So I don't know what went wrong the first time, but it just decided it did not like me that first time, because it didn't take any extra out like I was afraid of. At all. So yeah, we got our wand core. Woo woo! Yeah. So we can go back to House Leximani. Complete this quest finally. Get some more balance shards. That's cool, that's cool. 
put all our freaking shards away. Because no one loves these shards. Got a bunch of vials now. That'll be in the way, but hey, whatever, I can ignore it. And, yeah, we got that whole thing working. So now we can work on braving the elements. We need the pickaxe of the core and the axe of the stream. In order to get these, we need to go into artifice. I've already done the research, so we need the pickaxe and the axe. For the pickaxe, we need two fire shards, one great wood log, and a diamond. So we have the fire shards there. Let's make sure we have everything else we need, because I'm pretty sure I do. And we can do this ritual on screen as well. This is your ritual episode. All that jazz. <laughs> All right, why, why am I looking in there? We needed a great wood log, one, and one diamond, one. How much do I have in there? Seven blocks even, wow. I have a lot of diamonds. Ah, well. And two fire shards, and then we'll have to deal with the elements, which I'm probably just going to delete those jars and take the ones directly from the storage. And one, two, boop. Now, the elements we need for this. Fire. Mining. Sense. Yeah, I'm just going to delete all these jars and take my jars directly from the storage system now because those will work. Even though they're labeled void jars, they will work here. Alright. Come on. Oh, I'm full. Well, like I said, I'm going to delete these anyway, so... Delete, 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 delete. And delete. We'll put all those back in their original storage when we have time. In between episodes. <laughs> Alright, so the three I needed were fire, mining, senses, or ignis perfodio sensus. I say things weird. Alright, ignis. Perfodio. That's instrumentum. Perfodio, where are you? There you are, Perfodio. And Sensus. Sensus. Or is that a little owl? Sensus! Let's make sure I have enough of each, which is eight. I definitely have at least eight of each. I made sure of that. So I have my Ignis right there. Essentia, or Perfodio, right there. And my Sensus, I will put here. Now I need two fire, one diamond, one great wood. So, fire, fire, and with adding in all these fire, you would expect it to, I don't know, uh, like auto smelt or something? No, it just changes what you get, and great wood. All the materials are in place, everything is ready, all we need is the Thaumium pickaxe. This is why I haven't touched Thaumium tools yet, it's be what the hell? It's because I want to put it up like this. Stop that. Stay up there. Good. Boom. Yep, that's the right recipe, that means we're doing everything correct. What the hell? That is a glitch, if I've ever seen one. What the hell? <laughs> it's already taking the materials out, which means it's already finishing up. It just needs to take the log and the diamond. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! We have our pickaxe. The pickaxe of the core. Whoa! Diamond pickaxe, get wrecked. You can actually be deconstructed now, because I don't need you. And our pickaxe of the core. When you mine ore blocks, there's a chance you'll mine a cluster instead. The clusters are easier to process and produces double the amount of metal every time you smelt it. Yeah. I can also right click to find on any wall to find out ores, lava, and water nearby. For instance, I have lava and water right here. Right click, boom. Look at that. All the red spots are ores, and you could see the water and lava in the wall. That is amazing. 
Next thing I need to make for this quest is the axe of the stream. The best axe in the game ever. It is amazing. What this does is on natural logs and trees, it mines them from the top up, even if you're hitting the bottom most block. It's astounding how beautiful and useful that is. <laughs> Ooh, reward bag. Yoink! Rune of Augmented Capacity. That is for blood magic. I'm actually getting pretty full on this stuff, aren't I? That is for blood magic. What that does is makes it so my shrines can have more blood in them. It's pretty cool. Now, I put these back and make sure I have all the elements I need. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter where I put them. They weren't in any specific order because I didn't sort them yet. Oops. Because I didn't have them sorted. It would just take way too long to sort all these things again. Alright, those two were both blank. I guess not. One had something in it, one didn't. That's... Mm, OCD's not liking that, but hey, whatever. We need a lot of water and a little bit of tree. Lord knows I have enough of those. So, water, tree. I had like six jars of tree by the time I swapped everything over. It was not fun. Alright, and my arbor goes right here. So those are ready. You are ready. What I need now is... Wait, where'd my book go? You son of a biscuit. Why does it do that? Why does it auto put the book up there instead of what I'm trying to put up there? Because when you right click with this thing, it puts down the block next to it that will go in that spot. It's really, really annoying. Anyway, get all this crap back. Blood magic. I need, for the axe of the stream, diamond, great wood, and water. So the exact same thing, just with water shards instead of fire shards. That is easy. And once we're done with this ritual, we're going to call it an episode, because I just realized we've been going on for a while. And I will prepare all of the rest of the episodes in between. And... Yeah, you guys can just see all the finished products, see everything that's going on, and I will never skip an achievement if I can help it. I will let you guys see all of them. All of them! As long as I can help it. There are some things that are out of my hands. Like, boo! I mean, hey, you heard nothing. Actually, you might not have heard anything. My mic's been acting up. My headset decided to bust out on me, so... I can't hear a thing in game. Only the mic works. Nothing else. Ah! Why did it explode? Don't explode! Bad Matrix. If I'd been standing any closer, that would have hurt. Is, are you still gonna work with your weird cross tools? Looks like it's working. Yeah, it's working. Come on. Yeah, we got our axe of the stream. Woo! This thing is awesome. <laughs> Let's go find a tree to show you exactly how this thing works. Oh, before I forget, those are done. We now need the shovel and zephyr, which are also insanely overpowered. The tools and armor in this mod are just completely crazy. Completely crazy. Hmm. This tree wound up not having any node, so it's worthless to me. So I will start mining it. As you can see, it's not grabbing the log like you think it would. Strange. But oh, wait, I'm not actually getting any logs. What the hell? Does it not work on Thomcraft trees? I guess it only works on normal trees. Okay. That's stupid, but okay. It's a Thomcraft tool. It should work on Thomcraft trees. Gah! Well, I suppose it did say on natural trees or some crap like that. But see how I'm mining this one down here and still getting wood? It takes from the top down on the tree. 
I'm just mining the bottom block repeatedly, getting everything above it. It's beautiful. All that wood from one tree without even changing where I'm mining. This is a miner's dream axe. Because it's not like Tree Feller where it just gets everything and if some of it's not connected, it doesn't work. It's, okay, are there trees above this? Yes? Okay. Mine. Okay. okay. I'll, t I'll take that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And look how quick those leaves go away. Oh my god, that's beautiful. And now I have a bunch of spruce. I can refill my arbor element that I used to make this axe with. Lord knows I didn't need to do that, but, you know, fun stuff. And so, let us get go into the house, call this an episode, and ah, get out of my, get out of my house. Bad wood. I got wood. Alright, we will call this an episode. This is Loki looking weird and signing off. Goodbye. <laughs>